Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is Testing Tuesday and I'm going to be testing out some really cool products. But first, let me introduce my pal, my love, my darling, my executive producer, Mr. Michael. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you for being here. We're so glad that you could make it here on this lovely evening. So Yes, and I'm glad we could make it after internet issues. <laughs> yes, yes. So, uh, thank you, AT and T, for <laughs> quality product. Yeah, we're, we're not going to jinx it. Quality I'm, product. I'm going to start making my own commercials. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to be a little different than what you normally see. Yeah, but uh, I think we got th I got things fixed. Yes, um, and we're so rocking we're and back rolling. going. So. I'm glad that um, it didn't cause any well, residual issues that would have continued on throughout the night. Well, and in between, do you have AT and T for the wireless in in the studio? And my phone is Sprint, and I get like I'm at three G. They're talking about five G and how this awesome five G is gonna work. I'm like, dude, I get three. So that's the joy of country life, I guess. But before we start, and my hands get all messy, I wanted to show you the results from last week's Testing Tuesday. And I will post a link for that up in the corner. Um, it's also in the description. So after this slide, if you want to check out how I made this lovely thing. Actually, which way did I have it that I really liked it? It was this way. This is the way that I liked it. Just seemed to be awesome that way. So, got it all on screen. And you can kind of see the metallics in it. Um, it's hard to show on camera, but the metallics in this are, are lovely. Are they in your face metallics? No, they're very subtle. Um, I'm hoping that when I get a clear coat on them, they will pop out again. Um, but we are going to be doing some more metallic -y type stuff because if you're new to the channel, first off, let me say welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you're enjoying the art, artist vibe that we got going on here and want to join a creative tribe, all you got to do is click that subscribe and you will shortly learn that I love metallic shiny blingy stuff um i have not yet brought glitter into this house it's with a very sad heart and much restraint i do have some mica powders though so i've been using those <laughs> i think michael will get a little mad if i brought glitter in the house and there's a know. long story about that we'll share that at some other time <laughs> but with that said Taking a look at who's in the chat tonight. Awesome. Who's in the chat tonight, Michael? Well, there he is. Kirk Hammer himself. Darth, Darth. Haster. Hey, old Darth. Hello, Glad Darth. you're here, buddy. <laughs> and, of course, as always, the lovely, vivacious Cheryl is here. Hey, Cheryl. Yay! And there she is, Doris. Doris is here. Doris at DF Designs. Hey, <laughs> She's welcoming all fellow tribe members. Hello, hello. hello. Uh, Patricia is here tonight. Hello, hey, Patricia. <laughs> there is Lisa, senior helpers. Hello, hello. Hello, glad you're here this evening. There's Julie, Arizona Rock Garden Designs by Julie. Hello, hello Julie. Julie. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to Julie's channel yet, you need to go over there and subscribe to her channel. She just started a new YouTube channel. Please do go over and show her channel. Yeah, love. absolutely. Get her those subscribers so she can get to 100 and get her personalized channel. Um, I remember when I was at a, not even 100 yet. So it's it, every day you're like checking. <laughs> uh, let's see who else. Oh, yeah, there's Jeff B. Hey, Jeff B. Hail, Jeff hey, B. Jeff. Glad you're here this evening. Thank you, thank you. And also, let's see, who else am I showing? Kirk is here tonight. Hello, hello. Ah! Dina here this evening. Uh, Dina, Dina Designs. Hello. Hey, Dina. Yay! Dina has a, has, well, it's not a new channel, it's a newer channel. And she 
has some great artwork and some fun stuff on there. I love Dina's attitude. She's much akin to me. So if you like me, you're going to love Dina. So go over and, and support her as well. Fantastic. Laura is here tonight. Mural dream, Dreams by <laughs> Laura. Hey there, Laura. Darth, a woman with no glitter, sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> Positive candor, oh, great googly moogly. <laughs> hey, Sue. And Angela, did you say Angela? Well, no, I haven't said Angela oh, yet. Hey, Angela. Angela, Arts 2020. Hey, yeah. 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 Oh, Have we got everybody? I think so. Okay. We oh, wait a minute. Nope. There's Diane. Oh, hey. no. Hey, Diane. Tony Diane with you tonight. Tony, how can we forget Diane and Tony? They're like literally family. Absolutely, Jeez, they are. Bad Tish, bad, bad. Happy Tuesday, everyone, <laughs> says Diane. Cool, Happy cool, Tuesday. Cool. All right. <laughs> All right. So, what we got? so let's get down to it here. What I did tonight or today um, is I mixed this Sergeant Art Acrylic Pearlescent Mixing Medium. Um, it says it can be used to produce pearlescent paint effects. Mix one part of acrylic color paint with approximately 10 parts pearlescent mixing medium and mix thoroughly. Using too much paint will reduce the pearlescent effect. Well, what I did <laughs> is I did one ounce pouring medium and then a half an ounce of paint. And then I matched that with Floetrol. Now this is, I, I used all Winsor Newton colors, so I know the colors are going to be good. And this is um, the Galleria acrylic. This is not the high-end thick body, but this is a, a heavy body acrylic. At least that's how I categorize it in my head. Because um, it's thicker than like um, Artist Loft Level 1 Liquitex Basics. It's just slightly thicker than Liquitex Basics but most of it is, is thicker. Um, this is Van Dyke Brown from Windsor and Newton. And I know you guys are like, why did you make a pearlescent brown? Because it's pretty y'all. And you know, brown gets so underrated and I like brown and it's really pretty and it's very thick. Um, I mean, we're definitely at a three for a trace. Um, so I could actually have upped the flow troll a little bit, but I, what I did notice is when I mix the paint with the pouring medium, the paint with the iridescent medium or pearlescent medium, is it was really high high density pearl effect, and then I added the flow troll and it kind of like spread out, for lack of a better word. Um, so we're gonna see how pearlescent it is. So we've got the Van Dyke Brown, and do I have my bin? Where's my bin? There it is. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to put these away as I'm showing y'all. Dina's so. talking about this. She wants to paint. She wants to do a paint pour a buck skull. Very cool. Nice. That would yeah. be cool. And Diane says, Tony is working on his own resin project. Ooh, mm. Tony. You guys have created a nightmare. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think so. I think Tony's I think Tony's pretty cool. So yeah. um Windsor Newton Phalo Green is this green right here. And it's mm. it's really pretty. Um, like I said, the pearlescent part of it kind of I don't know. I might have put a should have put equal parts. Maybe a little bit more pearlescent in there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And then, of course, I needed a white. And I did titanium white. Windsor Newton. Windsor and Newton. <clears throat> Windsor makes me think of uh, whiskey. And Newton makes me think of Fig Newtons. So we're having whiskey and Fig Newtons. They go together. <laughs> so they're, they're great if you dunk them. I don't know about that, but mm -hmm. hey, I'll well, go with it. Uh, have I'll, it. I'll have to trust you. And then we've got the Windsor Violet, which is a really deep violet. It's my probably my second favorite purple. And you got to remember, this has been 
toned down with um, the pearlescent mix and full troll. So I basically used the pearlescent like a pouring medium um, and followed something akin to like Nina uses on her on her um, paintings with the um, gloss varnish medium, pouring medium stuff. And then next we have permanent rose, which is this lovely shade of magenta e pink. Because it's pink, but it's kind of like, it's really bright, and I like that. So, there's those. We're actually going to move these to the side here. Dora said that she did a skull pour two years ago. Ended up calling it Mr. Snot Nose because a bright green <laughs> dip or drip drip right down his nostrils. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a mental picture of that, and I don't need that in my head right now. <laughs> and then Windsor Blue, and this is my favorite blue. I say that probably about a lot of blues, but this really truly is my favorite blue. Um, this is it toned down, again, with Floetrol and the pearlescent um, medium. It's just a really pretty blue. So, and then I've just got some regular titanium white mixed with the white interior paint. There might be a little bit of iridescent medium in here still. I don't know. I've been using the same cup for like a week and a half now because I just keep adding to it. Um, 12 by 12 canvas. Where did I put it? There it is. See, I tried to make it all easy for me because it's been a day. <laughs> I think today's been a little bit more of a Monday than what Monday was. <laughs> I think, yeah. I'd have to agree with you. Yeah. <clears throat> I tripped over the cat like six times today. <laughs> Finally, I said, cat, if you don't just move, I'm going to step on you. And she kind of looked at me like, you wouldn't do that. And I just kind of looked at her and she's like, oh, you're serious. <laughs> I love that. I love Rhea to death, but sometimes she just gets way underfoot. And she's, it's not like having a toddler underfoot because they're bigger <laughs> and you can see them better. Unless you're big, fat, and pregnant like I was when Ariana was a toddler and I was pregnant with Clary. It's like, I couldn't see Ariana. She was so tiny. All right. So we're just going to put some white on the background here. I'm just trying to um, create some flow area to this. And we're going to do another bottle bottom reverse dip um, pour. Just, I just really like how these have been turning out. And I've got all these 12 by 12 canvases. So why not? Hey, Clara's jumped in here tonight. Hey, Clara. Hey, Clara. <laughs> watched your Artapalooza video today. Well, more listened than watched. Um, I was working on some projects outside and pulled it up because it pinged my phone and I'm like, oh, I want to see this. It's a dragon. Because, <laughs> you know, me and dragons. I mean, I do have a dragon tattoo. So... Only my closest friends know that. But almost everybody knows I have a tattoo on the back of my hand. Not very many people know the reason behind it. And then I also have a tattoo of a yin yang symbol on the back of my leg. So, and I plan on getting more. When? I'm not sure. You know what? There's a lot of air bubbles in here. Let's torch this background a little bit. Where are we putting me? I, I, I kind of purposely go off center 
with how this works. So Clara is saying part two is going to be happening tomorrow. <gasps> Yay! Mm -hmm. I'm like building suspense, Clara. Jesus. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Patricia says she has a dragon tattoo. Very cool. Dragons and are the best. Let's see. Oh, there's uh, Shelly Anderson. Hello, Shelly Anderson. Hello, Shelly. Glad you're here. Evelyn's here. Hey, Evelyn. Hello. <laughs> So I posted the results of last week's pour, and I shared it in a bunch of groups, and I hope Fiona sees it because um, she does inspire me. And I may not do things exactly like she does, but, you know, that's part of being an artist is being inspired by another artist and finding your own way to do things. And... You know, taking inspiration from another artist. Because even though, I mean, unless you're one of those artists that can do the, like, perfect portrait drawing type things that I see on Facebook and YouTube where they're just, like, it looks like a picture. It's so perfect. Unless you're one of those artists, um, there's no way that you're going to ever duplicate another person's art. It's just, it's not possible. Everybody has their own way of holding a brush. Everyone has their own way of their rhythm, their their taste in colors. Um, it's just all going to be different no matter what you do. Oh, what was the ta-da for? So, Dina, Dina Designs, just bought you three cups of coffee. <gasps> Dina, you are awesome. I love you. <laughs> So so much. Greatly appreciate that. Wow, I'm going to be wired. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> hey, look who's jumped in here, Heather Mater. Hey, Hello, Heather. Heather. Yay! Yay! Everybody's probably sick and tired of doing me doing these pours, but this has been my best way to figure out how these paints are working because you kind of do, you're kind of pouring it from a distance. You know, incorporating a little bit of air, um, you know, and you're doing a, a dip. So you're, you're manipulating the paint. And so you're going to see how it works the best. This is like the best way I've found to test paint because flip cups, I used to do flip cups to test paint. And then I would do like a, a regular straight pour and I wouldn't get the effects that I wanted. Uh-oh. Is that dad again? I don't know. <laughs> Guess I'll check. Be right back. All right. So I, I have been doing these a lot, and I really enjoy these. I, I love the different effects that I get. And I mean, I could probably, and I've been doing them in all different colors, too. And I'll probably do these until I can get my spinner back, and then I'll probably go back to doing something else. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So let's see. Daniel Vance has jumped in here tonight. Hello, hey, bud. Mr. Vance. Hey, old Daniel. And see, like somebody else had jumped in here. Oh, there's Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Says, I finally got to catch a live. Yay! Loving those colors. <laughs> This weekend, we need to go to Harbor Freight and get that that uh, um, pad. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We totally forgot about that. Yeah. We forgot to do that this weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So let's blow these out a little bit so we can move the little thingy, little bottom bottom. All right. Because oh, my back is hurting today.
All right. Put that up there, and then we're going to lift this up like that and bring it back down. I don't shake too much. Ah, there we go. All right, I'm going to put just a little bit of white on here just to help create a little bit of a barrier. Not much, just a little bit. Monica's here. Hello, Monica. Hey, Monica, glad you could yeah. be here. Start with the brown iridescent mix. This is Van Dyke Brown, which is probably one of my favorite browns. And I thought it would be kind of fun to add some gold or some copper to this and make it more of a shift color. I don't know. I'm gonna play around with it. We're gonna see, but first before I get all excited and start mixing more paint into this paint. I want to see how the pearlescent stands out. And, you know, if it's worth mixing my 24 karat gold with this and, you know, the more, you know, more expensive metallics. Well, Diane had put a question out there. Has anyone ever tried acrylic pour on like white masks that are used for parties Halloween? Like like Jason masks? Oh, like or like the like the um, drama masks. I think so. I, I, I think like that. you can. Yeah. I would make sure they were primed um, before you did that. In fact, I could probably grab one next time I go to Hobby Lobby, and we could try one. Tracy's here saying good morning, good day to everyone. Hey, good Tracy. Morning, Tracy. Yeah! I, bet I miss seeing your lives in the morning. <laughs> it's like I usually have my cup of coffee and 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 watch Tracy's live in the morning. But because we have a new situation, new setup for the dog, I'm not up at 5 a.m. anymore. <laughs> well, I'm kind of up. I get up to go pee <laughs> and then I crawl back into bed because, <laughs> you know. You get used to doing something and your body's like, hey, you need to do this now. Yeah, we're going to have to, I don't know. But, hey, we've been actually sleeping in a little bit. Yeah. So it's been kind of nice. Yeah. Sunday, we slept into, what, 7.30 or something? Whoa. <laughs> That was nice. <laughs> that was like way nice. So everyone's kind of talking about the masks. Um, Diane was saying like drama masks. Yeah. Yeah. But like, um, you could do a Jason mask. That'd be kind of too cool. Do it in, yeah. in plastic. Reds. Yeah, would probably work best. Sand prime. Yeah, you know, just like you're talking about. Yep. Everyone was saying then have some fun yeah. with that. Make sure you prime yeah. it. Any any kind of plastic, even the ceramic ones, the more heavy. Yeah. Ceramic ones, I'd still prime those as well. Now, uh, Daniel was saying it might be easier to do like a hydro dipping of a mask. You know, you, you, yeah. you absolutely probably that would be fun. that would be fun to do. That's really mm -hmm. messy though. Really messy. You think my spinning is messy? Hydro dipping is even more messy. <laughs> Claire goes seven thirty. Whoa, yeah, I know. I know. Hey, that's that's late. That's sleeping in late, yeah. man. I know. And here I used to be that person that stayed up till 3, 4 a.m. And now and now I'm in bed by midnight. It's not because it's because I used to work a job where I had to be up at 3 a.m. Yeah. So. And I'm not no spring chicken no more. Oh, no. What color is that? This this pink. Mmm. How about that? I know. Where's Daniel Tina? was asking about that. Several others were saying, "Yep, that's it." <laughs> so, where's Tina when I need her? <laughs> she's my she's my pink girl, and she loves pink. Okay, last color is this awesome blue. 
it's kind of a magenta pink. It's not really a true pink. It's got a blue undertone to it. I didn't use the opera rose, okay? <laughs> That's really pink. It's like, oh my God, pink. That's like Aerosmith pink. Okay. Now, oh, I forgot to use grab lids for these guys. That's okay. We'll just keep them off to the side and we should be okay. Let's blow this out. <laughs> Messy is our middle name. Yeah, pretty much, Cheryl. Yes. All right, lift up the paint off the end. And we'll lift it straight up. There we go. Ooh, I got some really cool designs in the middle now. And we're gonna bring this in like this. Clara's given some insight on to that dip along with Daniel. Oh, hydro dipping? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Diane says. It's messy. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun, but it's messy. Very, very messy. Here's me as I get messy. <laughs> I just remember the look on your face, Michael, after I did my first pour and how just how messy I got. <laughs> You're like, Whoa. It was enlightening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Now I know. Yes, now you know what you in for. Now I know. But the results are just exquisite and staggering at times, so. They were saying that's cool right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but we're going to dip it. I'm going to take some of this white paint. Get this one corner because this corner started to dry out a little bit. Heather says that messy is my least favorite part of pouring. <laughs> mm. Oh, I like getting messy. I just don't like cleaning up. That's why I say it's messy. <laughs> it's like it's like adding silicone to your paint. I'm lazy by nature. Like I don't want to make more work for myself. So I would rather um, just not make a mess. I mean, I love making a mess, but if I have to clean it up by myself, yeah, that's why I didn't cook for like a year and a half. Because <laughs> I didn't want to make the mess and do the dishes and do all the things okay that should be good all right let's grab our plastic here and i'm just using painter's plastic comes on a 400 foot roll it'll last you a millennia <laughs> like literally okay so i'm just gonna lay this down because things don't want to cooperate tonight apparently so we're just gonna slowly lay it down I'm just gonna give it a little tug. There we go. And we're gonna burp it. There's a big air bubble right there. There. I think I just squished out some paint though. That's okay.
Yep, I did. Oh well, that's okay. We'll see how it looks. Maybe that's a new method we need to do. The, the, um. So we've got a request. Okay. They would like to see a close up before the napkin or plastic. Oh, well, too late now, but next time, I promise. Mike will remind me, please. Yeah, see, I squished it out. Sad. That's okay. Maybe we'll come up with a new technique for this. All right. Slowly up. Hey, I'm knocking shit over all the time. <laughs> I think you got all ten pins. <laughs> yep, we have a bowling alley set up here. <laughs> oh, bother. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to bring this down. I'm going to swirl it about. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We are going to... I twisted it too soon. And that's what happens when you twist it too soon. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I just I couldn't resist on that one. <laughs> okay. That'd be cool. Won't you know, eh? You know, that's one thing I've kind of missed is hearing my Minnesota accent. <laughs> All right, so we're going to bring this down. Out a little bit. Oh, we got lots of paint right there. Getting some beautiful and loving the colors and gorgeous. Yeah, I'm loving the, the, that pink and the purple together. Really amazing. Very pretty. Oh, that's Lady Mist. Hey, Lady Mist. Hello, Lady Mist. Hello. Mist. Uh oh. Oh, there's J O T Z Designs. Hello, E Lisa. Lisa. Julie saying that you're just like Mina, you just can't not tilt. No, I have to tilt. <laughs> I used to hate tilting. I used to just like, nope, I'm gonna leave it. But now, I, especially with these, you get such beautiful movement when you tilt. Stephanie and Ward saying, oh, wow. 
You just, you just kind of gotta. And if Mina and I are in the same group, hey, hey, I'm okay with that because she does some amazing stuff. <laughs> I pale in comparison. Diane says you have the patience of a saint while tilting. <laughs> I do mm. live with Michael. <laughs> Lisa says tilting is blasphemy in my world. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, you work with resin. Oh. Uh, Heather says she's got to head out. Bye, Thanks guys. Hey, Heather. Bye, Heather. You know, Have I'm a great right evening. There, and I'm not even going to add wispies to it because that is, well, I might add one. Yep. Have a super night. Thank you, Heather, for stopping by. I appreciate you. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm looking at it. I think I'm just going to leave it like it is because I like it like it is. I do need to add a little bit of white here because this is going to be a dry mark on the canvas if I don't. Me. How about the other corners? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? No, nope, nope. There's another corner that needs some help. Kutish. Mama T will help you. There. When I was um, the executive pastry chef at a, at a, believe this or not, a donut shop. It was a from scratch donut shop. The whole shop was made from scratch. Um, I always told my people that I was training is like, you got to talk to the dough. You got to feel the dough. You got to know what the dough is doing. And because every day was different because it was in Houston and some days it'd be really super humid and some days it would be like really dry comparatively. And you just got to know your dough and you got to talk to it and be kind to it. And <laughs> one girl thought I was down gone crazy, but then she's like, she came back to me a few weeks later and she's like, you know what? You're absolutely right. You got to talk to the dough. You got to feel it. You got to know it. So, yeah. It's just one of those things. I'm going to torch this one more time. Barbara says she has to slip off and wants everyone to have a great night. Thanks, Barbara, for being here. Thank you, Barbara. All right. Got some really cool cells coming up here. And, Michael, please direct me. I'm going to give a final okay. close up here. Um, just give me one second. I'm going to drip. Wipe off the drippies, fix the edge really super fast. These are so some. Really Angela says good night. Julie says good night. And we're going to get the close up look. Yep, we got a close up here really quick. Um, Okay. Monica yeah. says she loves that softness. Stephanie's talking about how gorgeous it looks. Okay. So yeah. about right about there, there to do the left, my left corner. Is that good? That is. Yeah. Okay. I'm just slowly pan it down. There you go. And you can, I didn't need to add wispies. You can see how wispy it already is. And I think that has something to do with the squishing it, squishing it underneath the plastic. Yeah, Julie, we know that you're not feeling too good. We do hope you get to feeling better. Yes, honey. Darth is um, saying beautiful, but at the same time, why body paint? <laughs> no body paint. Well, it's body paint for me <laughs> until it gets washed up. But there you go. There is end result and Fantastic. i don't dare tip it but i'm looking kind of at the side and there is there is an iridescent to it definitely for sure so um, i'll be posting pictures on facebook of the dried results here um, as soon as i get them as soon as it's dried completely um, i am going to clear coat that other one um, probably tomorrow if i can make the room um, and get all that taken care of. So join us tomorrow night for Artapalooza. I think we're at 7.30. I 
or 728, somewhere in there. So not this week, but hopefully crossing fingers, praying to the paint gods, we will hit 750 for next week's Artapalooza. But tomorrow night, it's just going to be a regular, you know, snort fest, boring yawn. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yes. oh my God. Because, you know, you know, uh, Chris, my pal Chris over at Pour Me Another, he dubbed it. What was it he called it? Gosh, I don't remember, but we'll think of it. Snort a palooza, something night like of that. a thousand snorts, something, something like, like that. that. Yes, <laughs> the night of a thousand snorts. There yeah, that's it. There he is. Awesome. But yes, do join us. And if you're interested in or joining our palooza, please, there's links down below on how to do that, or just contact me directly, and we'll get you set up and we'll get you on there. Promote your business, promote your art, um, promote your creativity, um, and just have a lot of fun. So we'll, we'll see you right back here, 7 p.m. tomorrow night, Central Time. Have a great night. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.